Today we're going to use pneumatic cylinders or air cylinders to build a face frame assembly table. Welcome back, I'm Izzy Swan, and today we are not in my shop. We're in a factory in southern Michigan. This factory does mostly furniture stuff. In fact, that's all they do is furniture stuff, some outdoor, some indoor. But what I'm doing here is helping them set up a kitchen production line. And it may come as no surprise to you, one of my specialties is building infrastructure. In other words, I help them build the processes, the stuff they're gonna need to build kitchens without spending a ton of money. So I build jigs, basically. So this is the base of our face frame assembly table. I'm not gonna go over the build process, so this is pretty straightforward. It's just a box with some two by sixes on it and a sheet of plywood slammed to it with a bit of a structure behind it to help support it. What we're gonna do today is build a gantry that slides up and down this table and has four pneumatic clamps on it, which... With the base of our face frame assembly table already completed, the next step here is to build the gantry, or the part that goes up and down the length of the plywood that holds the pneumatic clamps. I just cut out some parts on their CNC and glued and tacked these together with an 18 gauge brad nailer so I can keep moving forward. Now I need something for the pneumatic clamps to ride up and down so they can be adjusted wherever there happens to be a member on the face frame that needs to be clamped down. To do that I'm just using a simple dovetail slide. Now I set my saw to about 30 degrees and cut three pieces off. You know, the big piece in the, sec in the middle is gonna actually attach to the gantry, so I glued and then tacked it into place. The two other pieces that I cut will ride top and bottom of that center section and hold the assembly clamps in place. Now I need a little bit of space between them so they slide nice and neat, so I'm using a piece of paper folded in half as a spacer. Now the parts that actually hold the air cylinders or pneumatic cylinders are made out of wood as well, and I'm cutting those out here. Now each one of those little C things will slide over the top of the air cylinder and be attached to a block that will ride down that slide. While those are drying and getting sanded, I'm going to put together the gantry towers, or the part that slides up and down the sliders that holds the gantry. In this case, the concept is really simple. I'm using some V-groove bearings that are bolted to the gantry tower, and a 1 8 steel rod rides between them. Now, I need to be able to adjust the tension on the top bearing, so to do that, I'm elongating the hole that it rides in. This will give me some maneuverability to tighten or loosen the bearing as needed. And while I'm doing that, Nico is sanding out the other parts so we can keep moving forward. It's always nice when somebody else does the sanding. So I used my high-tech angle finding eyeball and drill a hole from the top into that elongated hole that we just made. And then use the 3 8 tap to tap that out. So with that bolt going through the top, I'll be able to adjust the tension on the bearing that rides on the top of the track. I hope that makes sense. Now some of them might be thinking that it would wiggle back and forth, but there's washers on inside of that and on the other side of that, so when that's tightened down it acts kind of like a 
parallel clamp so it holds it the way it needs to be as you're putting pressure down on the bearing. Now before we can install the gantry we have to actually install the track and to do that I'm putting two pieces of plywood both on the top and the bottom of the assembly table. Big thanks to Nico, he was a huge help on this. It's always nice to have a second set of hands for projects like this. Now we pre-drilled all the holes in the track and then used that as a template to lay them out on the table. The track rides right flush with the top of the assembly table. Once we had all the holes drilled, we used some small aluminum spacers, or standoffs, whatever you like to call them. And then went through about every six inches, we put a spacer and bolted it down to the assembly table. So exciting, I know. This system with 1-8 steel and the V-groove bearings actually works really well for slides if you're ever trying to rig up a slide for yourself. So while we're finishing up the gantry slides, I want to talk a little bit about the cost of this project. This whole project was completed for well under $300, hovering right in the $260 range, $270 range. Now that does not include the man hours, but total man hours on this came up to about 8 hours, so it doesn't take very long to build. And that's a far cry from the 3600 to 4000 that these pneumatic clamping table systems start at. So it's definitely worth taking the time to build one. Now, all the pneumatic clamps that we use were purchased off of Amazon, and I'll provide links down below. That includes the fittings, the hose, basically everything you need to do your own clamping system. Now, if you're intimidated by pneumatic clamps, don't be. They're incredibly simple to use. And I'll talk more about that in upcoming videos. So if you're not subscribed, make sure you do. Now I needed a way to move these up and down the gantry, the clamps up and down the gantry, uh, so I could adjust their position. Now to do that, I just drilled a hole through the board that they're gonna sit on and tapped it with a 3 8 uh, tap. And then we're gonna use long bolts to basically lock them in position. Now to hold these down, those little C things we cut out earlier, just gluing those in position and later Nico will come back and put some 3 inch screws pre-drilled and then put some 3 inch screws in behind them. And then they just ride up and down the, the gantry like you're seeing here. And we can lock them in place with the bolts. Now time for a quick inspection from the boss. After Ben approved, we started on assembling all the hoses. Now. In this case, we haven't done a lot of hose management, and we'll do more of that and actually add, add a laser uh, alignment system and a few other things. Uh, but for this video, we're just getting it working. Now, these are push couplings. You screw them into the clamp, and then you just push a quarter inch rubber hose in there, and that locks them in place. Or that locks the hose in place. Now in this case, these clamps are two-way clamps. So when you put air pressure on one side, it actuates down. And when you put air pressure on the other, it moves it up. And the switch we're using does just that. Air comes in one side, and then depending on the position of the switch, it lets air in the top or the bottom. When you let air in the top, the clamps go down. When you let air in the bottom, the clamps come up. It is literally that simple. Now Keith, the maintenance guy, was kind enough to come over and give us a hand at setting up all the air. Now each one of these clamps in the middle had a little turn-off switch, so it's just an air valve. I can turn the air off to them or on to them, uh, depending on if I need them or not. In a lot of cases, we don't need all four clamps, so we just shut off the air. And again, in an upcoming video, I'll go through all of this in much more detail.
Altogether, it took about 10 minutes to hook all this up. And they're working. Now in this case, we use clamps with about a six inch throw on them, or it actuates six inches in length. Because we're in this case, we're gonna use them for different size face frames. So you can do a three quarter inch face frame, or a one and a half inch face frame, or a three inch face frame, if the need was ever arise for it. So here Nico's giving us a quick demonstration of how it works. The face frame goes in, the clamps come down, and you pocket hole screw them together. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned a little something. Again, don't forget to subscribe. We're going to be talking more about air cylinders and pneumatic clamps in upcoming videos and show how easy they are and affordable they are to use. If you're interested, check those Amazon links in the description box below. And of course, give it a thumbs up because it's just a nice thing to do. Don't forget to check out some other videos I have on my channel. There's a whole lot of fun and we'll be talking to you very soon. Have a great day. <laughs> nice work.